Oh, this guy's cool. Damn. Four buds, huh? Oh, 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 oh. So if you guys have watched our previous video where we went and had a very cold picnic with alpacas, you may have noticed that they didn't really like us very much. What? No, please, no, please. Here. And we were kind of sad about that. We are determined to make these alpacas like us. So we're gonna give it another shot. Right now, we are at the Alpaca Eco Farm, northwest of Amsterdam, near a city called Alkmaar. And we are going to have high tea with a bunch of really cute alpacas, and I'm pretty sure they're gonna love us this time. We're very aware that we already did a video with alpacas. Alpacas love me. This guy, come here. No? Some don't know it, so we're back here to prove that they love me and they want to be my friends here at the Alpaca Eco Farm. They have a bunch of different activities that you can do here at the Eco Farm, and we chose to go with the sit down tea and treats event that they have. So you get unlimited tea and coffee. We have some Coke Zero. Look at this adorable teapot that they have. I'm gonna go with Earl Grey. <laughs> It's like that alpaca is throwing up water in your teacup. <laughs> Watch out, they spit. Do they spit or is it just camels that spit? Llamas spit? Oh, yeah. so alpacas are the nice ones, huh? Oh, look, he's drooling. So the question, since this is a high tea, are these alpacas gonna have like British accents and you know, put a pinky out and feel like highfalutin? Or are these just like normal alpacas? What do we have here? This high tea is extremely hard to book. They book out about two months in advance, so their reservations open. And if you do not book as soon as they open their reservations, you will not get a spot. As you can see in here, it's very small, so it's somewhat limited to the amount of people that can be here and enjoy this alpaca tea. So I was literally on their website, like the minute they opened up their books for like the next two months, stuff was already sold out. If you wanna come here, plan in advance because it's very rare that anything opens up, you know, day before or two days before. So on our table when we arrived, there was always the tea for the high tea. What makes it high tea and not low tea or normal tea? But there's also a salad here and some little energy pellets. Just to be clear, I know this is not for us. This is for the alpacas. Very earthy with like, you know, sort of a, a woodlands grass aroma going with it. Be nice with a little bit of like, white balsamic. Maybe some mustard. Come on. So they do a little presentation here, but it's gonna be in Dutch, but they gave us English translations of like the rules and regulations and uh, some ideas. One of the things it says in here, alpacas are prey animals, which means they get scared easily by unexpected movements. That might be why, even though the alpacas last time loved me, they ran away because they were a little scared. And it says when they approach you, you can greet them by touching their nose with your own nose. And Is that don't, real? That's what it says. What? Yeah. And it says, do not pet them on their bum and tail. And they might kick you. And they cannot bite you because they only have lower teeth. I'm learning things here. This is good. Now, yeah, naast the dagbesteding hebben we dus recreatie zoals de high teas. We doen ook feeding weeds, wandelingen uh, naar de molen van de buren. It's happening. They're letting in the alpacas. <laughs> Oh my god, stop. Hey buddy. Can I kiss him? Nose to nose. Nose to nose. Have you noticed how shaped they are? What happened? They look like aliens. I know, I know. They shaped them for their fur. I get it. They don't eat the meat, they use the fur. It's a good thing. Oh my god. There you go, buddy. 
cute. Do you have a breath issue today? Why do they keep pulling away from you? Oh, please don't eat it all. So which one is that? Who is he? Is that Pablo or Rio? It's Pablo or Rio. I'm unsure which. Hey, buddy, are we friends? If we're friends, you can have this. Oh, your breath is horrible. Like, I think he has a breath issue, not you. Wow. He, he's not fluffy. He's like carpet-like, like, like office carpet texture. Hey. Hey, alpaca. Yeah? Yeah? Are we friends? Oh, this guy's cool. We're buds, huh? Oh, 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 please. We're friends. He loves me. See? Told you. Oh, yeah, his breath is like not great. Buddy. This one's cute. I like this one the best. You have an itchy? He's got an itchy. So apparently the younger they are, the softer their wool is. I think one of the white ones is the youngest one, I want to say. You get my pellets and I get to pet your head. There you go. Whoa. Hey, buddy. <laughs> what are you doing? This one's being greedy. Which one is this? Which one are you? Show me who you are. Oh, you're Chico. Chico? He knew his name. I think he knew him. Chico. 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 Give him a nose bump. I don't want my face near his bad breath. It's disgusting. I tried. Like they've been fed, now they're just gonna lay down. Just hanging out. I think they do this multiple times a day though, every day. They're super sweet, like docile and adorable. Well, they have like a little extra fur on their heads. I kind of like them sheared like this. I think they look cool. I want them to come back over. Mm -hmm. Lured him up. I got him off his slumber there. Kind of a mess, bro. It's all the way over here. <laughs> Their breath is like rotten barbecue potato chips. Yeah. How's your day going? Your day good? I think this this one likes me. I've made a friend. I win the game. I don't know which one this is, but he likes pellets. Yes, don't you? Oh, his head is so soft. They just like help themselves. Okay. So there was probably 11 alpacas that they brought in here walking around. I did not get to nose bump any of them, which I really wanted to. They also, thank goodness, give you a little like wet wipe for your hands because they say that they're clean animals, but you know, they're still living out on a farm. So now they're gonna bring out our little treats, the snacks to go with our high tea. Okay, so now they take all of the alpacas out, which kind of makes sense because um, they're kind of aggressive when it comes to the food. So I'm sure they would want to go after all of this human food. So we have a nice little plate of fruit. This looks like the sweet treat section, which this is where I want to be on this level. And we have a couple little sandwiches, some little wraps or rolls of some sort. Unsure what any of this is, but we'll, we'll give it a whirl. The cutest thing. Look at this alpaca cookie. I would like to have a hundred of these, please. One of our friendly viewers um, asked me when we were gonna eat just like a whole grain 
bread and cheese sandwich. Well, here you are, Jerry. Right here for you. Katrina, rank the fruits. Rank the fruits out of these four. Yeah. Number one, grapes. Number two, watermelon. If it's in season and if it's good, this one is not quite there yet. Uh, three, orange. Four, blueberries. Unless a blueberry is in a muffin, then it's number one. Whatever. We have a trip coming up where we're gonna be in swimsuits a lot. Spoiler alert, this four dessert on one plate thing, totally blowing that up. Killing me here, killing me. Worth it. I think it's like a red velvet, almost like a brownie texture, but I'm sure it's a cake. But it's super dense, more like a brownie. Um, less fluffy like a cake would be and then it has a cream cheese frosting on the top which as I've gotten older I've become more open to the cold cream cheese frosting thing normally I'm like nope it's got to be like icing like powdered sugar and butter but with a red velvet cake brownie thing it actually works but I, I like the flavor of it red velvet for me can kind of go one way or the other but the cream cheese frosting is really light and so it kind of balances out the denseness of the cake I like shortbread cookies like that. Nice end of the high tea here, the alpacas. I made friends. I ate the head off this guy. All's well in the world. You know, you gotta look at the shop. It is. It's super soft too. These are really neat. I like the kind of like southwestern like looking vibe. We're trying to just say goodbye from the alpaca high tea, but the wind is not letting us do like, that. Where did this wind come from? I don't know. Like, oh God. Did you have fun? I had a great time. Did you make friends? You know, I think we did. I think this was much better than the last alpaca experience because we were kind of chasing after them. I think we made friends. I think we made friends. Yeah. And the food was nice. The food was nice and they, all of the sweet treats and I assume the sandwiches and everything, they're all homemade. I mean, they're in there when you use the restroom, you can see their oven is- They're baking the stuff right there. They're baking the stuff like in, it's like a house. It's, it's Oh, they live here. They live on the farm. It's very lo-fi and I think that is super cool that little attention to detail because it would be way easier to just go to the grocery store wrap it up kid like, no, wrap it up you know what i feel like i feel like a weather person when they're out like in the torrential rain and it's like reporting live and like you're just supposed to ignore the fact that like you know they're drenched in the rain and anyways that's how it's going. you're getting the wrap it up signal from the producer I had a great time! I love alpacas! Come see alpacas.